What if I told you you can have as many different Minecrafts open as you like on Windows 10 at the same time? Multiple instancing is a thing and it's super easy to do, kind of. Before we get too deep into this video, I just want to say a big thank you to Jay Physio for tweeting me about the tweet made by Sprintermax about multiple instancing on the Minecraft Windows 10 version of the Bedrock edition of the game. I wouldn't have known about this without this, and it looks like a couple of people have figured it out before. So big shout out to Sprintermax, big shout out to Jay Physio. Let's figure out how we actually do this. Before we get too excited about this, thinking, oh, I can have camera accounts and stuff like that in my world, Xbox Live, the thing that you're logged into to enable you to play on realms and servers is global so you can't have for instance this minecraft with one xbox live account and this minecraft with another xbox live account likewise if you've been using my version switcher we can't have minecraft 1.14 in this one and minecraft 1.16 in this one we can only have the same version of minecraft on each one but what does it mean well it means if you need to you could go AFK on all of your servers at the same time. So for instance, we're gonna log into my friend server here. We're gonna log into my VIP server on this one. We're gonna log into the Truly Bedrock server on this one. And on this one, we're going to log into my realm, my family world realm. So I can be online in all of those and move about and do the things I need to do. I could be AFK in each one of those worlds whilst playing on a completely different one or doing tests in creative or whatever I want to do. What I can't do is I can't log into the same world twice. There's really good things about it, but there's also some limitations to it. But for the most part, just being able to log into one and AFK while you're playing on another means you don't, have a, you don't need to have a separate screen is really, really handy. So how do we do this? How do we do it? Let's find out. Well, if you're using my version switching program, this is gonna be a lot easier for you than it is for most people. And the reason for that is that you already have a folder with all of the different Minecraft versions already in it because we're gonna to need to tweak some of the files. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna tweak Minecraft 1.15.08 and we're gonna open multiple instances of that. At the moment, let's just run 1.15.8 using my version switcher and see if we can open multiple instances. So there you go, you can see we're running one instance of it. If we wanna run another instance, we can either go to our run menu and type in Minecraft colon slash slash and do that and you can see that didn't work. Or you can go to your start menu and just click on Minecraft again. The version switcher at the moment doesn't allow you to launch multiple instances, but I will be doing an updated version which will allow, allow that. At the moment, this one won't let us have more than one instance because it's not been fiddled with, so let's fiddle with it. And the way we do this is we open up the folder with our version in it and we go to this file called the appmanifest.xml. And if you load that up in your favorite editing software, you will see at the top there is a bit that says package and a load of gobbledygook after that if you don't know XML. And there is something down here called applications. Now it's ridiculously simple. We just need to add these two lines into this. So the first one is this one, which I will add to the description so you can copy and paste that. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight it, gonna hit Control C to copy it. We're gonna go to our app manifest.xml. And at the end of this package tag, We've got the start of the tag there with that arrow facing that way, the end of the tag there with that arrow facing that way. We're gonna hit spacebar and we're gonna hit control V to paste it and that's gonna paste that inside of that tag. We're gonna scroll down to applications and then application and at the inside of the end of that tag, we're gonna grab this one. So highlight it, hit control C, go back to our other one, hit space, do control V to paste it and that is it. All we gotta do now is save that and then when we switch to this version, it will work, but we do need to reload that version. So what we're gonna to have to do with my switcher first is go back to 1.14.6. And the reason we need to do this is we need to effectively reinstall the game to get it to work. So we go back to 1.14.6 like this, and we're gonna close that. And now this time when we open 1.15, it's gonna completely reload this file and the game will work with this file now changed. 
So you can see the game loads and works exactly the same way as it did before. You can see that we're in the beta of 1.15. And now if we open our little run box and type in Minecraft and open that, you'll see we get a whole new instance of that. Or you can use your start menu or whatever to open it up as well. So let's do that again. Let's get another instance of it loaded up. And you can see it's exactly the same, the same one, the same worlds, the same everything, just three different instances of it. And that's all you've got to do. But Foxy, I don't have your fancy little version switching program. And you said in the video for that, that it was very complicated and only people that understand how the computer systems and file structures work should be fiddling with it because it's dangerous. Well, that's absolutely true. And to do this without using this is a really long-winded process because you need to be able to uninstall Minecraft and then reinstall it again using the new file. So... I'm not going to go into a tutorial on how to do it without this. You can download this from my website. It's free. I would suggest doing it this way and following the tutorial for the video for this to get your version files. I will link the tutorial for this version switcher in the description below. I would suggest you go through that in full and look at it all, how you make it work. And then once you've done that, you'll be able to open multiple instances. So hopefully that little video there was useful for you. I know it was a bit of a short one, but there really isn't too much to it. And it does just beg the question, if it's so easy to do, why don't Mojang give us multiple instances of Minecraft? Because it really does make sense for us to be able to open more than one of these at once. Maybe it's the issues with having multiple Xbox Live accounts and the confusion behind that. I really don't know. But yeah, I hope you found this useful. If you did, do please leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!